Hello, my name is Hendra. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I would like to do a quick review of Aris SB8200 Doxys 3.1 modem. This is a new modem that I just got recently and I was using the SB6190, the Doxys 3.0 modem. Uh, the reason why I'm upgrading to this modem because my speed has just been recently upgraded to 900 megabit per second. So I thought it was a good idea to upgrade the modem as well because this modem has been around for five years. So uh, today I will cover three different topics. The first one, of course, review of this modem and then comparison with the old one. The second one is I'm a uh, Xfinity Comcast customer. So you can activate the new modem by yourself using the mobile app. So that way you don't have to contact the customer service, get on the line. You know, sometimes they put you on hold like 15, 20, 30 minutes, right? So it's more convenient if you can do it yourself. I'll get uh, you through how to do that. And then the third one is to enable what it's called a link aggregation on this modem only if your router supports it. So it will help to increase your bandwidth. Okay, let's start with this 8200 review. Okay, let's start with the quick comparison. So this is from the back of 8200 box. As you can see, it has four different models in here. That's the very old one. This was my uh, previous model, and this is my uh, new 8200, and this is like the next uh, level, S33. So as you can see, the speed for 8200 can uh, reach up to two gigabit per second. 6190 is up to one gigabit per second. Doxys 3.0 specification is the same, 32 by 8, and only the last two model that support uh, 3.1, and then the number of Ethernet ports. As you can see, 8200 has two Ethernet ports as opposed to one on S33, even though it's the newer model, but it only has one port. So the uh, other advantage for this model, the latest one, it has a multi-gig Ethernet ports, which is 0.5 gigabit per second. It does not support that on this model, of course, not on the uh, older model. And the high performance online gaming. So it says this one is best. I don't play games. And then simultaneous HD 4K, it's better. This one is best. I don't find any issue with this, right? So it's all uh, like uh, uh, user or customer preference if you want to get this one. And then multi uh, network capability, these two. Uh, none of this modem uh have built-in wi-fi so you need to purchase a separate router for that and no voice support uh, as well two years warranty let's take a look at the design and physical appearances of these two modems on the left is 8200 on the right is 6190 so as you can see they both have the same design so even with the old predecessor models the s6 series they all have the same design until recently when Aris they launched the S33 model the form and shape is like completely different but up to this model it's still the same so the LED positioning and everything is all still the same and then let's take a look at the top part top part no difference right and then the right side no difference is identical however on the left side, if you pay attention closely in here, this is 6190, all these tiny holes, they're like closed off or blocked. So Aris, they make it better by opening these tiny holes to allow for a better ventilation. Although these two modems, especially this one, right? When it comes with the uh, wall mounting holes, but I wouldn't recommend to mount this modem on the wall because the heat and air ventilation can get obstructed and it will make the modem becoming too hot. Um, there are like two different enemies when it comes to electronics. The first one is dust. The second one is heat. So please keep that in mind. And then, look at the back part right now so it's pretty obvious 8200 comes with two gigabit ethernet ports where you can create a multiple network when your uh, isp supports it or you can use it for link aggregation as opposed to only one port on 6190. let's talk about the hardware 
So 8200 is a fantastic modem. So it's not made by Intel. As you can see in 6190, it has an Intel Inside logo. This one, it uses a Broadcom chip. So the system on chip may be used with a three gigabyte RAM to assist you to break through network congestion or latency. So this modem supports DOCSIS 3.1. So please make sure if you want to get a full uh, functionality and then full capability of this modem, make sure your ISP supports DOCSIS 3.1 as well. However, this modem also backward compatible with the DOCSIS 3.0. Um, on the front panel, so the LED indicators, they're all the same. The top one is power. And then the second one is a receive uh, LED. So when DOCSIS 3.1 is supported, it's only for the left side, right? This is 8200. So it will light in blue instead of green. So if you don't get a blue light, it means for whatever reason, the either the ISP does not support 3.1 or something is wrong with the configuration. It does not allow the DOCSIS 3.1 to be used on this modem. And then on the sand side, it's all the same. If it lights blue, then it supports 3.1. So the most important one is the bottom one, which is the connection to the internet. So if you are connected to the internet, this LED will light green. As I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video, I am Xfinity Comcast customer. Your experience might be different. So please check with your ISP to make sure that they have a facility for customers to perform a self-activation using an app. So. If you are Xfinity customer, all you have to do just to download Xfinity application. It is available for both iOS and Android platforms. So you can get it in App Store or Google Play. So please note, you will be disconnected from your home Wi-Fi. So please make sure the device you are using is connected to the internet, typically using your mobile data or other nearby free Wi-Fi in your premises. Launch the app, scroll down, look for got new equipment to set up. Tap on that and then select your own modem. Wait for a few seconds until you see start activation on the screen. Continue with this. Make sure all the cables are connected, the coaxial, the power. And then the modem is power up. Press ready to go. So now you need to enter the MAC address. On the bottom of your box or your modem, you will see the MAC address. It's in two digit format separated by dash. So like AA-BB-CC. So what you need to enter in here is just the number without the dashes and hit next. In this last segment, I'm going to show you how to configure the link aggregation on both your modem and your router. So first thing first, you need to check your router to make sure it supports the link aggregation. So I'm using this model, Asus RT-AX82U. So it's a pretty decent router and looks like a spaceship, right? So I really like the model and then it comes with the RGB light as well. So um, this is from Asus website. Um, again, so you need to check your um, router manufacturer and then they should have like some kind of support that tell you how to configure that. The very first thing you need to do is to make sure you have two uh, Ethernet cables, right? So the example they are giving right now is the network attached storage so it doesn't really matter right so just think this is like your modem so your modem by now you should already have the Ethernet cable connected from your modem port number one to your router any port I would say number one right and you don't have any extra cable connected from your modem to your router 
So in this example again, it's using port number two as a second ethernet connection. But Asus recommended port number four, I'll show you later, right? So basically what you need is to connect two different ethernet cables from your router to your modem, as simple as that. However, in order to achieve this WAN or LAN aggregation, you need to enable that option in both the modem and the router. So if you go to the next page, so this is my router uh, console, right? So it can be anywhere depending on your model and brand. So mine is under WAN option and then see, enable WAN aggregation. So basically WAN aggregation to combine two network connection to increase your WAN speed up to two gigabit per second. Connect your router port and LAN 4 port to your modem LAN port. So in this particular model, Asus recommended to connect the LAN port number one, sorry, number four, to the second port on the modem SB8200. So once you enable this, hit save, then the modem will save this configuration. And then the next step, you have to do the same thing on your Aris modem. So log into your portal and then enable the LAG, hit apply and save. So once everything is set up, right? So, so just fortunate that Asus tells me that, hey, the link aggregation has already been established. So you're gonna see it on the next uh, screenshot.